We should probably get back to the others for now. Tarnation is an artist. Yes, yes. Very well. La bella dormiente está despierta. Careful, we gotta make sure they're not still possessed. Tell Frisk, kiss the formerly sleeping beauty. Their reaction will tell all. You're back. Uh, this is not our couch. Where are we? How you feeling, Tall Kara? Our Kara must have lived invisibly this time. Great job, kid. You took way less time than I did when it happened to me. <laughs> well then... Welcome to the world beyond the sofa, Bottles. Basically, you drunkenly stumbled into an alternate universe, or AU for short. Ugh, oh, my head. Wait, so all of this was not a dream? It must be a lot to take in. Take your time. Rest assured. You no longer have anything to fear from us or this world. Oh, you must be this universe's Azriel. Nice cosplay, by the way. Ah, don't cut me! Oh, man. That was such a weird dream. I even had a beard drawn on me. Azzy, are you keeping the beard? Of course I am. I feel powerful. Now that you have the beard, Azriel, don't you think that you look like your father? How about instead of a beard, he gets a goatee, colon three. Yeah, you're right. I look too much like dad. I guess I should get- Wait a minute. <laughs> Sans! <laughs> the struggle is real. As real. <laughs> you cannot beard the puns. <laughs> so proud of you. Ugh. Um, how is Toriel doing? Is she still unconscious, or is she awake now? She's doing better now that Frisk and Kara will be back soon. We made butts pie for them. Toriel just wanted to let you know that Frisk and Kara are fine. They aren't hurt, and they should be back in a few hours. So I heard. We have everything prepared to receive them. Though I need to talk to Kara afterwards. I need them to explain all these bottles I found in their room. Um, Toriel, what are you going to do with the bottles? I'm throwing them away, of course. <sighs> I wish I could make them stop doing this. Does Asgord know about Kara's disappearance? Where is Kara? Holy cannoli, Asgore. Calm down, girl. Kara is safe along with Frisk. Also, your goat son finally has a beard. Wait, a beard? Hey, Dad. That's real. Oh my gosh. not. This is Maverick. Hey, Flowey, why don't you, uh, come say hi to Bottles here? <laughs> uh, I already met them. I don't wanna... Been wondering if both were fully serious, as unlikely as it sounds, who would win in a fight, Sans or Undyne? Everyone knows Sans has more power than he likes to show, Heck, he might be as good at dodging as Frisk is. Dude, he's got one HP. He'd probably die if I patted him on the back too hard. Uh, my attacks aren't really that strong unless I use Karmic Retribution. And that's only effective on someone whose level of violence is high. Also, if I hurt her, then Papyrus would probably cry. Yeah, same. Our mutual love of Papyrus keeps us from ever duking it out. How are Tall Frisk and Bottles supposed to get back to their world? That's your area of expertise, Dad. Well, based on the data we've gathered previously on this portal, I think it's entirely possible to predict its destination. This portal was created unnaturally through sudden magical pressure, which originated on this universe to pull through an object, myself, 
from outside of the material plane. This created a type 3 negative vector permanently fixed to a specific coordinate location on the material plane, but with due to the infinite nature of vectors, the other side is subject to the whims of the void. And you would think that this would make predicting the destination of the portal nigh impossible, but you would be wrong in that assumption. You see, since at least one end of the portal's vector is in a fixed location, this limits the variable of destinations to a rather finite amount, the subject of which is chosen based on the ebb and flow of anti-radiation and static energy, both of which can be predicted through extrapolating that. That's my impression of you, Wingdingus. Uh, in layman's terms, the portal's destination changes frequently. I can forecast where and when it will lead next. Better! Where's Adrian? How's Frisk's sister? I don't know, let's call her! I can tell her I'm a wizard! This establishment is a safe space for people! We don't want monsters coming in here and freaking people out! It's bad for business! Get that through your thick skull, because If you pull this Hello? one more time... Hi, sis! Fire Guess what happened to me in school today? Do you and also after understand? School. <sighs> I don't know, Frisk. I can't what hear happened? you, Lacaz! Yes, ma'am. Uh, hey, why do you sound so mad? <sighs> I met Pedro's picking up the pizza, but Jason's getting chewed out by his boss right now. I really want to punch her in the face. Adrian, that's a really bad idea. <sighs> yeah, I know. I am so sorry you had to see that valued customer. That was so unprofessional of me. Hey Frisk, sorry, but I think I'm gonna have to cut you off. You can tell me all about school at dinner, okay? Okay, make good choices. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just confused. Like, that mindscape, where did that music come from? That was my idea. Shinoha Miho, can you explain to you how to come at La Nino and Ohara with the power of imagining yourself con robos frescas? Well, I figured some upbeat music would only help things, cause it's a battle of will, see? Nothing like music para hacer de sentir como un bada. Herman, you're dipping into Spanish a little often. I understand you, but... Entendiste algo? Ni idea que dijo che. They're Spanish speakers. What are the odds? Está marioso conocer auténticos hablantes nativos en vivo. No eres un man de vot. En Canadá, mostrar solo unos pocos hablan español. Mi familia es una especie de excepción. Desde el principio, mi familia fuimos gente en México antes del Corea. Hoy decir que antes de haber sido una familia de esqueletos nobles por nacimiento, pero debemos correr hacia el norte porque la carrera. Este, capaz tengas que explicarme en inglés. Oh, ok. I suppose my dialect is a little weird. What I was saying was that it's cool to meet you. It's really unusual for me to meet any Spanish speakers. My family were originally from this big aristocratic family from Mexico way back before the war, but they had to flee north when the fighting got bad. Listen, it's not like I hate monsters. I'm perfectly fine with them living their lives somewhere else, very, very far away from me. They're banned from Pedro's for the same reason guns are banned from Pedro's. People understandably get upset when there's someone nearby who can easily murder them. I'm a mixed martial artist. I fight people for a living. My body is a deadly weapon. Are you going to ban me from this pizza establishment? That's not the same thing. Huh. Listen, why don't we just agree to disagree? Were you going to order something? Hey, Janet! <laughs> Do you serve <laughs> boneless pizza? Who the are you? Honestly, it feels nice to find more Spanish speakers in other universes. <gasps> Get in the portal. Uh, Sorry, but the portal is closing in 15 seconds. You can thank me later. Nice to meet you. Bye. I swear, if they end up back in Edge's world. Oh, here come them boys! <sighs> Ugh, <sighs> it's 
doesn't help the hangover. <laughs> hey. They're home! Well, greetings, hero. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> I'd even reset the whole timeline to save you. Look, I know you two are enjoying your cute moment, but you might want to move somewhere else before a car comes and things get really unfortunate really quickly. Hey, hey, get off the road before you do that. You get hit by a car or something. Hey. Sorry to ruin the moment, but guys are in the middle of the freaking street. <laughs> yeah, we should get back home. Frisk, Kara! 